Riddle House. The Riddle House in Palm Beach County, Florida, was originally a funeral parlor. The Victorian house was dismantled and rebuilt in yesteryear village at the South Florida Fairgrounds. In the 1920s the house became privately owned by Carl Riddle. Joseph, one of Riddle's former employees, committed suicide by hanging himself in the attic of the house. Joseph, for whatever reason, hated men, and displays this hatred by attacking men who enter the attic. One man had a lid flung at his head, and men are now no longer allowed in the attic. Other places in the house are haunted as well, with furniture being frequently moved. Leap Castle The castle was taken over by the ruling O'Carrolls, to whom the O'Bannons were subject. After the death of Mulroney O'Carroll, a fierce rivalry erupted, culminating in two brothers struggling for control. One of the brothers, a priest, was brutally murdered, in his own chapel, in front of the family, by the other brother. This chapel is now known as the Bloody Chapel, for obvious reasons. Many people were held prisoner and even executed at the castle. The castle is rumored to be haunted by a vast number of spirits, including a violent, hunched beast known only as the Elemental. It is most recognizable by the accompanying smell of rotting flesh and sulfur. While renovating the castle, workers discover an oubliette, which is a dungeon accessible only through a ceiling hatch, into which prisoners are thrown, then forgotten and left to die. This particular oubliette contained three cartloads of human remains, and was filled with spikes to impale those thrown into its depths. Chulsland Genocide Museum Chulsland Genocide Museum, Cambodia, is a remnant and a reminder of one of the most brutal genocides in history. It was once the home of a death camp and is believed to be haunted by the 17,000 to 20,000 inmates that died there. Only 712 survived the torture and murders. When discovered in 1979, a visiting photographer and accompanying journalists had to wade through numerous, rotting corpses. Photos are displayed in the museum. Humberstone and La Noria. These two abandoned mining towns in Chile were recently featured on an episode of the Sci-Fi Channel's show, Destination Truth. In 1872, the town was founded as a salt bitter mine, and business boomed. It is rumored that the dead of the La Noria cemetery rise at night and walk around the town, and ghostly images frequently show up in photographs in Humberstone. These towns are so terrifying. The residents of nearby Akike refuse to enter them. The former residents never left, and can be seen walking around, and children have been heard playing. The cemetery of La Noria, regardless of whether its occupants actually walk at night, contains opened graves where the bodies are fully exposed. Helltown the northern part of Summit County in Ohio is known by the eerily blunt moniker, Hell Town. In the 70s, Boston Township was the site of a government buyout, and subsequent mass eviction of citizens. The houses were intended to be torn down and the lawn used for a national park, but the plans never quite manifested. Whether based on a kernel of truth or cooked up in the heads of creative visitors, the persistent legends of Hell Town add to the creep factor. The steep Stanford Road drop-off, immediately followed by a dead end, and is aptly named the end of the world. If you get stuck at this dead end for too long, according to ghost story enthusiasts, you may meet your end at the hands of many members of the endless parade of freaks patrolling the woods. Satanists, Ku Klux Klan members, an escaped mental patient, an abnormally large snake, and mutants caused by an alleged chemical spill proudly march in this parade. And if you stray from the roads, you may find Boston Cemetery, home to a ghostly man, grave robbers and, the quirkiest of all, 
a moving tree. Byberry Mental Asylum The Philadelphia State Hospital at Byberry, or known simply as Byberry. The hospital, in its most popular form, was founded in 1907, and known as the Byberry Mental Hospital. It exceeded its patient limit quickly, maxing out at over 7,000 in 1960. It housed everything from the mentally challenged to the criminally insane. Due to its atrocious conditions, and the subhuman treatment of its patients, the hospital was closed and abandoned in 1990. The terrifying aspect of this location isn't so much its haunting or the unsavory characters that lurked after dark. The terror here comes from the facts of the how the hospital was run. Human excrement lined the hallways, which were also where many patients slept. The staff was abusive, and frequently exploited and harassed patients. One patient had a tooth pulled without Novocaine while another killed and dismembered a female patient. Although the killer, Charles Gable, was never found, the victim's body was found strewn across the property. Her teeth were found being played with by another patient. Even as the hospital was in the process of closing, two released patients were found dead in the Delaware River, two successive days after their release. Perhaps that gate in Stull Cemetery opens here.